Phrasal verbs are a common part of spoken English. A phrasal verb is a group of words that function as a verb and is made up of a verb plus a preposition, a verb plus an adverb, or in some cases, a verb plus both an adverb and a preposition, like look forward to. Lots of English language learners have difficulty learning phrasal verbs. It's easy to understand why phrasal verbs are challenging. There are a lot of them and many of them are polysemic. They can mean different things in different situations. Of course, many of them are also idiomatic and their meaning isn't always clear based on the words that make them up. In this video, I'll explain 11 ways we use the phrasal verb make up. I'll give examples and common situations to help you master this common phrasal verb. And at the end of this video, I'll share my favorite resource for exploring phrasal verbs and other vocabulary. Makeup can mean to put together or prepare something from parts or ingredients. For example, she made up the paste with fresh ingredients from her garden. I hesitated to include this definition because I really don't use makeup like this. You can make up a mixture of something, but you can also make a mixture of something. Personally, I would just use the word made in this example, but dictionaries do provide this definition for makeup. People in different regions use language differently. So while I would just say she made the paste with fresh ingredients, someone else might say she made up the paste. To my ears, it sounds like she invented the paste. I would love to hear from someone who uses makeup in this way or from those who also use made or perhaps a different word altogether. In most cases, when using the phrasal verb makeup, various things are coming together to form or create something. One meaning of up is to finish or complete something. If time is up, there's no more time. If you finish something up, you have completed it. When up combines with make, we get the sense that things are coming together to form a complete whole. Let's look at more examples to cement this phrasal verb into your working vocabulary. In the last video, we looked at examples of makeup that mean to form or constitute. When people or things combine with other people or things to form a group or a whole, we can use makeup. This use is quite similar to saying there are. For example, Africa is made up of 54 countries, or there are 54 countries in Africa. Another meaning of makeup is to invent or create. We often use this with stories and excuses. For example, her mother used to make up bedtime stories to help her fall asleep. This means her mother created bedtime stories rather than reading them from a book. Students often make up excuses for why they didn't do their homework. This means they create reasons that are not true. A very cliche example is the dog ate my homework. If you don't wanna to go to work, you might make up an excuse like being sick. It's common to make up excuses when you do not want to do something because it's more polite than just telling someone you do not want to do something or go somewhere. The fourth meaning of makeup is to complete by providing what is lacking. We can use this when talking about time, money, and work. For example, we can make up the time we lost sitting in traffic if we don't stop for dinner. A very common collocation is to make up a difference. For example, if you go out to dinner with some friends and they do not have enough money, you could offer to make up the difference by adding more money. We can also make up for work we missed by going into work on the weekend. We also use makeup when talking about compensation. Examples include the airline gave us 75,000 points to make up for the canceled flight. The restaurant gave them free dessert to make up for the long wait. I'm so sorry I was late. What can I do to make it up to you? Or how can I make it up to you? These last two examples are used when you have wronged someone in some way. In many cases, there is nothing you can do to make it up to them. You may need to rebuild trust in order for them to forgive you. Makeup also means to arrange, prepare, or put in order. Hotel housekeeping make up your room and bed. 
We can also say they make your bed, but we have to use make up when referring to the act of cleaning your room. It's very common to use make up when talking about becoming friendly again after a disagreement or argument. For example, I thought they were going to break up, but after hashing things out, they made up. Makeup also means to put on cosmetics. This meaning of makeup may be familiar as makeup is also a noun meaning cosmetics. Many women wear makeup. However, it's more common to use the phrasal verb put on as in she always puts on makeup before leaving the house as opposed to she makes herself up before leaving the house. To my ears, the phrasal verb makeup sounds a little awkward in this situation. Also, putting on makeup is not the same as wearing makeup, so be careful not to use it in the same way. I don't wear makeup. When referring to the actual act of applying makeup, you can use put on. I don't like putting on makeup. To make up one's mind is to make a decision or decide something. This is a very common use of makeup. For example, I can't make up my mind. This is the same as I can't decide. After weighing the pros and cons, I finally made up my mind. If you're at a restaurant and you can't decide what to order, your friends might become impatient and say, just make up your mind already. In printing, to make up means to select and arrange type or illustrations for a book, magazine, etc. Many factors go into making up printed materials. Unless you're in the publishing industry, you probably won't ever use makeup in this way. You can also make up an exam you failed or missed if your teacher provides a makeup exam. For example, I was too sick to take the exam, but luckily the teacher allowed me to make it up. So in this case, makeup is to take an exam one has failed or missed. Congratulations if you've made it this far. Now let's look at my favorite resource for exploring phrasal verbs and other vocabulary. And if you know what animal this is, let me know in a comment. My favorite resource for exploring vocabulary is Youglish. Youglish, a combination or what we call a portmanteau of YouTube and English, collects videos from YouTube that contain the word or words you want to learn about and shows you how they're used in context by real people. As you can see, makeup is extremely common with 46,258 examples on Youglish. In an upcoming video, I'll share a quick tutorial on how to use Youglish for language learning. It has some really great features I want to share with you. I also plan to make a video with common portmanteaus because it's fun to see how words are made up. I hope you've enjoyed this video about 11 ways to use the phrasal verb make up. If so, please hit the like button to let me know. Your likes and comments motivate me to keep making videos for you. If you want more videos like this, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.